Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a few more Burning Brute teams because uh, there's still a lot of people having issues with it and I'm just like, I want to put out as many options as I can for you guys to try and get it done. So we're going to be taking a look at a team that has no melee damage dealer. Um, we're also going to be taking a look at Nara, how she can work, and the other units that you can sub in if you don't have certain units to try and get the best damage you can get. We're not guaranteeing 100%, but hey, if you can creep your damage up each time, it's going to help you get more of the bells and get more goodies. So let's get into the video. So this first thing I want to look at is the team using no melee damage dealer. Basically, it's Lawson that allows this to happen. Yes, the twins are very important again, but we'll talk about not having the twins. If you don't have the twins, you may not be able to get 100%. However, if you do have Belinda as your main damage dealer, I believe you may be able to because Belinda can basically just hit like an absolute truck with her ultimate and that works well with Lawson's, um, you know, his eye ability that increases the damage of ultimates. Gwyneth's ultimate damage, not too great on a single target. So this is how I got the team to work. And basically what happens is we're going to begin the battle. What, what happens is we're pretty much going to want um, to get him to 20% and then use every burst we can. If you want to, you can manual it. Sometimes this does um, stuff up. But what you really want to get is two ultimates during the down phase. And here we go. Here's the second ultimate. And I think we can get a third. Oh, the shield's just up. So we just missed it. But as you can see, we went from 20 to 50% in pretty much no time at all. Um, and now we're going to try and burst as much as we can without the shield here. Hopefully we get this ult. Yes, we got it. And you can say, see, 50 straight to about 80% before he got his shield back up. And that's pretty much what this team is about. Um, basically destroying him before he gets a chance to put his shield back up with ultimate burst. So Shimiro, probably not an option for this one. But, like I said, Belinda's probably going to be better than the Gwyneth. Um, this is just how I found it to work. And once again, the twins are nice for this. I couldn't quite get 100. I could get like, I was getting 98 with another team. But we'll, we'll go retry and we'll have a look. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. As you can see, 46 seconds remaining. We've got the 100%. Now, you'll have to try this a few times. I've had it fail a few times um, where you don't get your burst in line when he goes down. And you just don't get it. So, we're going to go retry. We won't accept that. And we're going to take a look at the other team. Okay, so here's the other team. And this is basically replacing Estrelda for the Twins. It's not going to be as good, um, but you can still get good with RNG. Sometimes the best I saw, I think it was between 92 and 98. I can't remember. I did that many different test teams with different things. It was in the 90s. I got in the 90s with this. I feel like with the Belinda, you'd be doing even better, which I feel like more people have a Belinda built. So, And also, if you had a Mythic Rosaline, you're going to get that extra damage from her following your main damage dealer. So there's a lot of variables in this, um, but let's just take a look. And it's like... And I know everyone's is different with a, depending on how many, um, you know, 240s you have, all that good stuff, scaling, it's all fun, but just some ideas to try and hopefully we can get some decent damage in this one and, and show you guys a successful run, please, please work. And once again, it's all about that burst RNG at the 20%. Um, I've tried manualing and I just suck at manualing. So we're just going to leave it on a and see what, see what happens. Okay, this is bad. Gwyneth at zero energy. Okay, good. Burst straight away. Rosaline, we need we need another ultimate from you, please, before the shield. Ah, we missed it. Just a second too late. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. If we can get it, get him to 50 pretty quick. The whole idea is bursting him from 20 to 50. And that's how these things work. But let's see. Let's see. We'll get him to 50 pretty soon. So we're definitely not going to get 100% on this one just because of the situation we're in, but, um, you know, we might get, we might get some decent burst and get above 80 on this one. I think there's 70. Okay. We've got to 75 pretty much before, before the shield came up. So that's what you're looking at doing. And this was a less than optimal burst. Um, but once again, it's, it's going to be just a, a play around and see what you can do. There you go. It's 79. Not too bad. So there we go. I tried a couple more times off camera. I feel like I could get 100% if I did a few more tries, but that's where we got to. I did change the formation. Um, I didn't save it to watch the whole run just because uh, I want to try the other thing on the account so we can't accept anything. But there you go. That was 94. As you can see, I put... Um, I ended up putting Lawson down the bottom away from Rowan and Rowan in the front row. We'll hit retry and you can see the formation. And that seemed to work better for me. Um, just 
just, just the formation. Things happen and that, that's the way it works. So that was my best uh, run with these guys. And in that run, we had uh, Jura's Eye on Rosling, Jura's Call on Rowan, and Jura's Blade on Gwyneth. And then I can't even remember what we had on the other two. But now I want to take another look, sorry, a look at another option. Here we go. So for this one, I'd like to thank Flying Chicken for putting this in the comments pretty much straight as I uploaded my last video. And he basically said Nara can pull him back. What actually happens is, and it doesn't, it took me a lot of tries to get it to happen. So it may take me a few retries to get this one to work as well. But what happens is Nara sort of like, when she does her ultimate, I feel like she jumps back and he pushes forward a little bit. Now the shield, wherever the shield was, stays in place. So it's not until you get him below 20% that then the shield refreshes for where he's standing and sometimes you can put your front row heroes in inside the dome and get the full damage out of them so i've seen people a lot of people doing this like with belinda teams um like belinda shamira front row so the thing with this is you do need to have your range damage in the front row because he won't go all the way to the back but let's take a look and see if we can get it to work Fingers crossed, because like I said, it took me a lot of tries to get it to work. And then once again, because I wanted to show a bunch of other things, I couldn't save the result. But um, it just seems to happen when Nara just, when she does her ultimate, she does a jump back, as you can see. And he, like, as many times as I do it, I never see it happen, but he does slowly creep forward. I, I don't get it. It just happens. Um, but sometimes, like I said, it doesn't. And this time, it appears like he's not coming back very much. Because he does do a little knockback as well. Um, but normally you can see his full tail by now if he is coming forward and this one it really doesn't look like he is It's it's very finicky this thing like it, I try a lot of different team comps to try and make it work and like I said Just very very finicky, but if we could have got him in there You can do some really massive burst with your range damage dealers um, I'll keep trying because he's definitely way too far back But I'll keep trying and I'll try and get you guys some footage of a team that does get him back there Okay, that took a lot of recording. We finally got it. Like I said, the Nara thing is very finicky. Um, I'm going to hit retry. I mean, I'm going to hit confirm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to hit confirm. And then we'll take a look at the replay. As you can see, Gwyneth just did all the damage. And we'll take a look. And it's basically... So what this one did, it seems like he seems to skip towards where Nara is located. So I put her beneath Gwyneth. And you'll see at around, I think it's like around 15%, that um, the brute sort of skips down a bit and goes forward. I'll, I'll try and pinpoint the time right now. And I'll, maybe I'll slow it down. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But... There, he skips there. You see, he went down and came forward in that little ultimate little block. And basically now he is forward. When his shield reforms, you'll see that Gwyneth is actually inside the shield. So if you look at him now, she's about to ult 42% straight up to 56%. That's because she was in, in inside the radius and she managed to get that ult off when she was inside the radius. And here again, she's inside the radius. One thing to note is he does have a knockback and you'll see right there, he knocked Gwyneth back. So now she's outside, but we were still pretty cool and we got all the damage that we needed. But yes, that is how it works. That is how the Nara works and that is it. So once again, that Nara thing, that can work with a Shamira, that can work with a like pretty much any range damage dealer, a Belinda, all that good stuff purely because once again it does bring him in but keep in mind that took me about i think that was about eight retries to get nara to actually bring him back i think it's like a glitchy thing where it's not actually meant to happen and it just kind of does sometimes so like and when i was testing this off camera like like hours ago it was the same it took me like 20 tries to get it to happen once but if you can get it to happen um, like this one shows, it's an absolute gold thing. And in this one, I just left the Lawson in there for that debuff as well. Um, you could do it, like I said, I've seen people doing it with Shamira and Belinda. Um, but once again, Rosaline and Rowan are pretty optimal for this. So if you don't have one, and that's the other thing, other thing. If you don't have one of these heroes and you can't make it work, the twins, the Rowan, the Rosaline, jump on a Discord, jump on a forum, jump on anything and try and find a friend that has one so that you can borrow it and that can complete the team for you and hopefully get you the 100%. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Really pumped that we actually got that one to work. Like I said, the Australia not a bad option for twins. Twins still optimal, um, but you can do it without a melee damage dealer and you can bring that brute back with the Nara, get your ranged damage dealers inside the shield and get some good stuff done. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.